Our organisation is LINK and we're a community organisation that aims to improve the quality of life and health and well-being of all women who identify as lesbian and bisexual. Basically we have all kinds of women coming through the door, uh, like women in their teens, we've got women coming out of marriages with children, um, so it's a really wide range of, of women all different stages of the coming out process. We have these different groups, we've got say drumming, we have drama, we have walking. Um, so the overarching health benefit of these groups is uh, to reduce isolation, right, and increase social connectedness. So if someone's very isolated um, and they're experiencing discrimination, they're at higher risk of engaging in negative health behaviours, right? And this might be smoking, binge drinking, drug use, or just poorer mental health, right? So that's what happens if you're isolated. So they learn. They learn from that. They learn from the programmes they get involved in. People have been in here who've been involved in programmes and have gone on to university, have gone to, done their degrees, done their masters, and come back and worked here. We're also involved in SESCA, which is an umbrella body of about 18 different organisations. And through that, actually, like we work in partnership with many, many of those organisations. Like we work in partnership with NASC, that we might be supporting um, immigrants who identify as lesbian or bisexual. So we bring people, it's kind of, I call it hiding the vegetables, right? So you bring people in and you talk about, we're going to do yoga and massage. And then when we're there, you teach them the real, like, day to day, how to cope better with stress um, and anxiety and these things that affect our community. It's amazing to watch people flourish and grow and blossom out of being involved in the groups. The Basement Resource Centre shined started 11 years ago and the idea is that members who have mental health issues, enduring mental health in Cork City and County have a place to go that's community based. We're quite unique that we have a drop-in element. So once you become a member here, you can drop in any time. And the another unique thing is that it's a membership for life. So by providing that for someone, they can prescribe their own journey. And a lot of that is through education. And what we provide in the Basin Resource Centre Shine is a place to come to find out what type of education you need to support your recovery to stay in the community. My role here is a development worker with the Basement Resource Centre Shine um, and part of my role is um, working with members at developing the community garden which we have over in the inner city um, Kyle Street. Um, it is a community garden which I suppose looks at the area of recovery. Draw, gives people an opportunity to get involved and use some of the skills perhaps they might have forgotten um, and maybe I suppose support others developing different skills. Because of my construction background I was able to foresee the finished product and uh, help in the completion of that. That gives me great pride that uh, um, when you suffer from mental health you think basically you can't regain your uh, original life and that to me gave me confidence to possibly go on. What I get out of basement is a sense of belonging. Instead of being at home alone and isolated, I come in and I become part of the community. There are several services in Cork that we would link our members into. For example, it could be College of Commerce, um, St John's College. Um, the Lantern also do a lot of other courses. There would be a few centres um, in the city and in the county of Cork as well, which we'd link our, our members into. So sometimes we might um, go out to visit that centre with the members if that's um, something they would like. We're on the SESCA network. Um, we're also with Community Training Board and they provide funding every year. Um, actually, just this September coming, we're actually linking up to the Lantern, which is a community project in South Parish, and we're running a music group together. Why do we do that? Because when you partner up with another community agency, you're broadening out for people to see what other types of opportunity or education there. Volunteering has given me a lot of confidence, uh, self-esteem. Um, I find now that I've volunteered in the basement club, it has enabled me to go on and apply for other volunteer positions. I'm now volunteering in a second organisation as well, in the same capacity in an admin role as well. 
Some of our members have returned to jobs, some have to third level. But the most important thing is, I think, for recovery and for your well-being and for your health to continue and for you to take control of it, you need a place that you prescribe for yourself. Because for too many years, we thought we could prescribe education and recovery to a person. We've learned over the years, it's actually the opposite way. They have to be in the driver's seat. Uh, this is Youth Health Service. Uh, Youth Health Service is the only service of its kind in Ireland and it's based here in Cork City Centre. Um, I suppose what's key about the service is that it's a free service, it's non-judgmental, it's friendly, relaxed, informal, and it's confidential and that's everything that young people wanted from the service way back in 2004. We provide an STI clinic which is an outreach clinic from the main clinic in the South Infirmary Hospital. Uh, we provide two contraceptive clinics a week. We have unplanned pregnancy counselling, we have general counselling, we have drug and alcohol counselling. And then there's my role, I'm the youth worker attached to the service, so I provide um, support to young people, I provide education to young people, I provide sexual health information and support to young people, and a space for young people where they can figure out what it is they need. And then we provide support as well to parents and guardians and professionals working with young people as well. The other role of the YHS is that we're a gateway service. So through our connections with other departments and services within the HSC and our connections with the voluntary sector, once we've identified what the needs of the clients are, we would refer them on. So if their needs are more, um, I suppose, complex, then we have links with the services within the HSC that we can refer the client on to. Um, and we can explain to them what that service is about or you know, um, it's about bridging the gap between a young person being in need of help um, and not engaging with the service. That's what the YHS is about. And we've always tried to take the view here that, that very often young people can get wonderful support in their own community, but they may not know where to go or who to get that support from. Or it might be me making a call on their behalf, because sometimes picking up the phone and making that call to that other professional might be difficult for them. The YHS is about equipping them to seek what they need and that, that's what education is about. It's, it's, um, all of the information is out there, so it's about empowering the clients and that's the, the, the core of what the YHS is about, is working with the client where they're at. Even though they might not be able to articulate it, I think young people are very aware of what their needs are in relation to education, what their needs are uh, in relation to the supports that they need. Mm -hmm.